Assalamualaikum. So this is the voltage regulation for the transformer. So what is a voltage regulation? So most loads connected to the secondary of a transformer are usually designed to operate at uh, essentially a constant voltage, meaning that the voltage cannot be changed. Okay, constant voltage. However, as the current is drawn to the load, okay. Uh, usually the terminal load of the transformer will change because of the voltage drop in the internal impedance meaning that uh, the voltage that across the terminal load of the transformer so for example so when you is there, there is no load the voltage here is we call be no load maybe this one is a 200 volt right but when you connect connect the load terminal with a load okay with a load here there is some voltage drop okay the load should uh, uh maybe maybe some voltage drop maybe one nine seven volts so there's a voltage drop of three voltage drop so that is a so this is not good okay because usually the load requires 200 volt to operate but uh, when you connect this load so the voltage drop because of the maybe there is a sum uh, because this this transformer has the resistor here internal resistance of the core okay resistance before this this is the resistor but since uh, the current is zero so that's why there is no p uh, drop or p losses at this part Okay, but when you connect with a uh, with a load that requires 200 volt to operate, and the current is drawn here, so this is the internal resistance. Okay, so there must be a voltage drop across this internal resistance of the transformer. That's why the load terminal of the voltage is dropped from 200 to 197, for example. Okay, so. Uh, so when you connect it with the rated load, so this voltage is actually what we call the voltage full load. Okay, so as you can see, there is a difference between voltage full load and no load in terms of the value. Okay, so the difference is around 100, uh, different around 300 volts. So actually, the, 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 the good transformer is the transformer that has actually no difference even though when it is not when it is not uh, not connected with the load and when it is connected with its full load okay the best transformer is the transformer that has no difference in terms of the voltage drop okay so it's maintain its voltage but uh, that is the best but however um, we know that this internal resistance cannot be avoided so it's good to have a transformer that has less uh, voltage uh, regulation percentage okay so so that is actually all about the voltage regulation so the voltage regulation is defined as the change in the magnitude of the secondary voltage at the load current change from no load to loaded condition and usually uh, the voltage regulation is uh, determined by using this equation so v2 is the no load Okay, is the P terminal at during the no load value, the no load condition, uh, minus uh, the V full load, okay, over the V no load. Usually the V no load is higher than the V full load. The best is when you have um, this one is equal to zero. There is no difference. So the best voltage regulation is that uh, the relative regulation percentage is zero. Okay, so why uh, I'm uh, writing this one E20 is actually uh, when you referring to the secondary. So this is the primary and then this is your secondary. So when this is, um, uh, okay, V1 and this is your prime secondary side. So this one is actually used has a voltage induced which is E2 right and this is your E1 okay I think this one okay so when you have no load connection okay the V no load here is equal to your 
voltage induced at the secondary side. So that's why I choose two. Two zero meaning that this is a zero load. Okay. Uh, but when you have a load connected here, okay. So actually this is a resistance here. There's a resistance and inductance here. So there's a component here. Sorry. Okay, so this is your Z, okay, impedance, internal impedance. Okay, so when you uh, there is no no load, okay, no connect, no load connected, so the voltage appear at this terminal output is E2. Okay, even though it has a impedance here, but since there is no current flow, so the voltage drop is zero, so meaning that the voltage here is equal to the voltage induced. But when you have a load a rated load, a full load connected through the second terminal or the output terminal, there's a current flow here. So meaning that when you have a current, so you have the in, in, internal impedance here, so meaning that you have a, some voltage drop. Okay, so the voltage up, across this uh, terminal is no longer equal to the voltage induced. And that's why um, the voltage um, full load is usually lower than the voltage of no load. So you can either use this notation or you can also use this notation. And uh, it also can be referred either you transfer all the parameters in the primary side or you can also uh, you can also use uh, when it's actually transferred into the secondary side or primary side. So this is actually the equations uh, when for the voltage regulation, when you refer the secondary at the primary side. Okay. Where V2 prime here is equal to uh, V2 over A. And V1 is the voltage primary during no load. Okay. So this is the circuit, um, the equivalent circuit when you transfer all the primary into the secondary side. So this is V no load, which is equal to the voltage induced at the secondary prime. Okay, voltage induced here. And this is the V2, okay, when it is full load. So the voltage regulation equation uh, after some derivation, so you can use this equation. I square, okay, I think this one I square, this is I2, right? No, I2 prime, I2, uh, and then uh, R equivalent to, which is this one combined with this one. And then, uh, and it depends on the power factor. If the power factor is leading power factor, so you need to have to use negative here. Okay, negative here. But if the power factor is lacking power factor, you should use a positive here. Uh, and then uh, I2 multiply with the equivalent reactance, which is this one. Sine theta two. And this theta is actually your uh, power factor angle. Okay, over the E, which is the voltage induced at the secondary side. And this is when you actually refer the secondary into the primary side. So this is your V1. Okay, V1 at the primary side. Uh, and then you have I1 here. So same thing. Okay, so you are, will actually use this formula and depend on the power factor. So if the power factor is leading, so you should use negative. And if the power factor is lagging, you should use positive. So example five. So based on the example three, which is this one, okay, calculate the voltage regulation and the secondary terminal or voltage for full load having a power factor of uh, 0 0.8, okay and uh, 0 0.8 leading, 0 0.8 lagging and 0 0.8 leading and it is given here the value. So let's try. Okay, so from example three that we have uh, already done, okay, 
So this is actually the value of the uh, equivalent resistance and equivalent reactance when uh, actually has been uh, referred to the uh, primary, okay, to the primary. So this one, if I can say this one is, sorry, to the primary side. So this one is R is equal to 2.05. And then you have the uh, leakage inductance 0 0.082. Okay, and then uh, this is your load. And this is your V1, and this is your V2 prime. Okay, so this is your load here. And uh, based on the equations, so um, the voltage regulations. So this is your I1. So I1, uh, R1, cos theta. And since this is lagging, so we need that you need to use positive. And then I1 X1, okay, X1 sine theta over V1. So I1 is actually the current full load. So in this case, the rating is the 100 kilo volt ampere. So we consider that one is the full load. Okay, for this transformer. So uh, the current can be obtained by using 100 kVA over the voltage primary, which is uh, 2200. Zero, zero. So this is 2200. Okay, V1, which is, is actually the voltage uh, during no load condition. So from here, <clears throat> you can obtain uh, 100k over 22200. So you should get uh, 45. Okay, so 45.45. So um, from here, so you can get uh, 45. So voltage regulations is I1 45.45 multiplied with 2.05 multiplied with cos theta, which is 0 0.8, okay? Plus uh, 45.45 multiplied with the reactance is 0 0.082 multiplied with sine. So sine theta uh, 0 0.8 cos is actually um, 0.6, okay, actually this one is at 36.86, okay, over your V1, which is 2200, zero, zero. okay, so you should get 45.45, multiply with 2.05 multiply with 0 0.8 okay plus uh, 45.45 multiply 0 0.082 multiply with sine 36.86 okay so you should get 76.77 over 2 to 100 so this one you should get around 0 0.035 this is the voltage regulation so meaning that uh, it is uh, quite good okay not good actually 3.5 percent actually so it's quite not good so and then uh, the second okay sorry so and then we have already obtained this one and the second is actually to get the secondary terminal voltage Okay, so secondary terminal voltage. Uh, so we know that um, 
the voltage regulations is uh, a voltage uh, of uh, no load minus uh, voltage uh, full load over V no load. Okay, which is this one 0 0.035. Okay, and um, you can actually uh, in this one. Okay, we know that V no load uh, is actually 2200. Okay, so uh, we can actually uh, V full load is equal to um, 202000 multiplied with 0 0.035 uh, and then okay so this one minus this one plus 2200 so this one should be uh, 5 minus So seventy-seven plus. Okay. Seventy-seven. So you should get uh, the answer is two one. Two point one two kilo volt. But this one is a uh, uh, V secondary when referred to the primary. So uh, to get the actual V two. What we need to do is we know that uh, V two prime is a, uh, sorry, is actually V over a, so meaning that uh, your V two should be a multiplied V two V two prime. So your a is um, need to recall back your a is um what is it your a is uh, four hundred. Okay, five. Your is is five actually. So five. Uh, okay. So sorry, this one. Um, okay, I'm sorry. So let me check again. Okay, sorry, this one. Uh, it's not this one. Uh, v two prime. Is actually uh, a v two k, okay? and so meaning that your v two is v two prime over a, which is uh, two point one two k over five. So you should get uh, around four to four, four to five volt. So that is the answer. Okay, so. We have already obtained the answer, so you can move on the second example here, second example five with the zero point eight leading. Okay, and then I think uh, that's all for the voltage regulation then I think we can uh, move towards the voltage, uh, uh, what I call the voltage efficiency.